Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and today we are going to talk about Knott's Berry Farm. They made a big announcement for the 2024 season and I'm going to cover it all right now. So it was a couple months late but I'm sure that's because Knott's was figuring out what they wanted want to do with their stalled project with Montezuma's Revenge and that accelerator to get back up and I think they made some decisions and we'll talk about it right now but yeah Camp Snoopy is getting a nice overhaul it's gonna open by Memorial Day 2024 that is just in what six months about five six months now which is, which is quite nice it's gonna be a nice quick turnaround they've been working on it for a while now already so it makes sense and this include a lot of new things a lot a lot more than I was expecting to be honest it will include a new kids coaster to a lift slash launch coaster that will go around two times to make up for the loss of Timberline Twister, which is a very small, very old kitty coaster, so I'm glad it's being replaced. And this is a Zamperla creation. Woodstock's airmail will be relocated to a new area called, I think, like Campy's, Camp Snoopy's Postal Service, something like that. It'll be a nice themed uh, kind of a postal service area and in its former spot I believe will be the, a nice swing attraction where you'll be able to swing 10 feet high this is like a very miniature version of those big swings big swinging uh, flat rides you see those big swings and yeah this is going to be a small version of that in the former Woodstock area Camp Snoopy's theater has is going to be re uh re re, re revamped that's where they're going to revamped and with this beautiful concept art it looks just fantastic there'll be all new shows there uh they being memorial day weekend and all that good stuff as well there's going to be an expanded truck attraction or a new truck attraction new flat ride but an expanded jeep the jeeps will be expanding as well as the train camp the beagle express will be expanding and hopefully adding some new animatronics and gags along the way and this is where it gets very interesting because the Beagle Express and Expanded Jeep attraction looks like it is taking over the former Montezuma's Revenge space. Montezuma's Revenge was not detailed or not announced or mentioned at all in this announcement. Accelerator has been reopened. Speculation says that it's been on the chopping block for a while due to manufacturer issues. And yeah, so Montezuma's Revenge's days may be numbered, unfortunately, if they can't find out a solution. And they were working at in the area by Montezuma Spike before. That's where, where that new truck attract, no flat ride will go. But I don't know. It's not looking good for Montezuma's Revenge. It's already halfway gone already. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it just totally gets wrecked. Do you guys want discount tickets to theme parks, Disney, Universal, Legoland, SeaWorld, all of them? Well, guess what? I can get you that. Thanks to the folks that get away today, we have a referral code down below in the link. You can click and get discounts and for all your vacation packages. Also, you can get tickets or discount tickets for single day tickets as well. You just click on the code, click whatever theme park you want to go to in California or Florida, and then type uh, use the code TPW. That is capital T P N W. That's it. Disney, Universal, all of them. And they, if you add multiple days, the bigger the discount. Again, use that referral link down below. Uh, you'll get lots of discounts, including single day, vacation packages, even on hotels. And use that code TPW. And thank you to the folks that get away today for helping us out here and helping you get some more discounts. All right, let's get right back to the video. And some lighter news, the kitty uh, play area that with the rock and the bridges, I forgot what it's called, but that will get a little expansion as well with some new rope bridges and kids or things for the kids to play on, which is super cool. And that kind of rounds up the announcement there, um, but it's a really cool announcement. I mean, wow, there's a, we're getting a lot, a lot, and of course, new trees, lots of greenery, a few new flat rides and expanded rides, but yeah, might lose Montezuma's Revenge. Um, which is very unfortunate. But what do you guys think about this announcement? Are you very excited? Are you uh, sad about the, the potential loss of Montezuma's Revenge? Again, that's not confirmed. Just a rumor. Just based on this, the video we can see. That's, those new two attractions, expanded attractions, kind of take over the space for Montezuma's is right now. So what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Follow our Patreon for permit details and all exclusive um 
videos and early access for this project. I'll be at Knott's at least once or twice a month starting next year to go ahead and cover this project. And as always, have a fantastic day.